Welcome to week four of the Frequency Bones Summer Music Connection 2. I'm going to play a little something to start this week off. <laughs> to show you, low B flat to what would be considered double high B flat. Um, and I show that to you and demonstrate that to you to put to ask you this question. Was that technique or muscle that allowed for that double B flat? Technique or muscle? It's a good question. Because this week is about range, range building, technique or muscle. <laughs> In my mind, it's a combination of the two. And does a person need to have that kind of range to get into an orchestra? No, not yet. And I say not yet because of what's being written these days. Think of the different concertos that are written. Think of some of the bass trombone concertos that go up to, you know, above high F and down to, you know, almost double pedal B flat. And there's many, in fact, now it's common to think that all the tenor trombone solos can, you know, have tons of high notes, tons of high Fs or F sharps and go down to the trigger range and to the pedal range as well. So what's the difference between a bass trombone and a tenor trombone? In range these days, not much. And there's many players who can play the whole trombone family extremely well. So it's interesting times that we're in. It's really just an extension of all the other times where a composer will write something that'll challenge the instrumentalists of the day to expand their technique. In other words, to expand what they can do. So the accepted now moves beyond what would be considered unacceptable, not playable, is now acceptable and playable, at least by some at least by some. And that's a whole topic. That's a whole topic in itself. Maybe I'll put some videos on another time. Talk about that. But it's really no different than the age that we live in, is it? Think about it. It's hard to keep up with the most current cell phone. And then as soon as you learn all that technology, and all what that phone can do, the next one comes out. And it can do more. So doing more seems to be a part of an evolutionary process or development process of any particular thing. How much can something do? Um, at the same time, they try to improve on what it already could do. So it's a combination of adding more at the same time upgrading the actual quality of what has already been done. Very fascinating, I think. Very, very fascinating. Um, so given this, what about us, the trombonists? We never know what kind of piece is going to be thrown at us, and how can we keep up with all that's being written? Well, one way to look at it is don't rush yourself. Make solid and integrated your technique and your musical mind and feelings. Integrate them and gradually expand them. Okay? A lot of times you'll see a a classical orchestral trombone player trying to play jazz. 
some can actually do it extremely well and some sound like they're trying to play jazz probably just like some jazz players would be trying to play orchestral music but probably trying the different genres genres um, would expand your musical mind but also your technique <laughs> is very different, isn't it, than going very, very different. And so it is possible to do many kinds of different things. And I think that's when we think of someone with a lot of technique, sometimes, of course, we think of speed. Someone who, you know, can just pick up their horn and do something, but usually they're moving their slide. <laughs> that was, you know, some fast lip slurs. But sometimes we think of someone who can just, you know, tongue all over the place and incredibly fast speed and go up and down the instrument and have all this facility. Now, does this have to do with music? Yes and no depending on what music is to you. If these, the acquisition of being able to do more and more and more and more, then takes the music making, the expressive nature, the spirit of the music to be less and less and less, that is a very big problem. And that is something with our society now that's I think worth worth looking into how much does this quest for technology interfere with other than the things that need a different sense of time so in that looking at it from even that standpoint there could be a lot of pressure on a musician to be able to do more and more and more and more and in that I think it's very important to take things at a pace where you can improve what you can do and gradually come up against your limits which we do which you know people have been doing ever since they've started instruments get to a certain point you know there's the beginning method the intermediate method the advanced method that means there's an accumulation of ability and you can do more and more and more So, in order to expand the range and the, f and the speed, it's the same thing. Sometimes you just kind of pretend you can do it and see what happens. Other times, you take a very step-by-step -step approach. And people have been doing this for a long time. Uh, people taking row shoes and urban studies and playing them down an octave, playing them in tenor clef down an octave, playing them up an octave from where they are, putting them in tenor and alto and treble clef, and trying to keep the same ease of production just in that different range. And I think to do that comfortably so we don't have any psychological hang-ups, slower the better. Take your time doing it. When I went up to that double B flat, was it technique or muscle? It was a combination of both, I'd say but in a way, more technical formation. It was a technique in my formation. I moved the mouthpiece away from me a little bit. I my lips very, very together. Not, too to, not so together that nothing would come out. And it was more of a whistle. And I've built that in so it's a part of my natural range. Because that's the next thing. If we want to do more and more and more, it's going to challenge our embouchure structural, integri structural integrity. So, this is a big subject, an interesting one that will lead us into different things. And uh, I think we'll need another video so I can get that assignment out to everyone. Okay, happy thinking. See you soon.